Good morning, folks. If you didn't catch yesterday's second video, part two of the catastrophe evidence at other stars, the hope was to do some simple math and then show why reality may cut that timeline down in a big way. But right now we're at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last day on our star with a half-cocked version of everything. It's patchy, sparse coronal holes. There are numerous plasma filaments dancing, but no eruptive behavior capable of coronal release. The bright spots are active regions, but with the sunspots decayed beneath them. It is part of the transition phase out of sunspot minimum and back towards activity again. And the solar wind we're finding did its own half-cocked version too. Clearly the purple plasma speed line shows a ramp up most of the last day, but scale on the left shows it was a weak stream overall, just laying atop a weaker ambient stream, and so geomagnetic conditions remain quiet here. On to the weather, where the eastern edge of the lows in the United States are driving hard, bringing southern air up to warm the Midwest, which had been happening in the Pacific to Alaska for about two months straight, but that's about to change in a big way. The western side of these lows pulls just as hard from the north as we saw in the southern California snow event yesterday that is still ongoing as it moves east, and sadly the cold wave is getting worse in India too. More people whose homes can't handle the cold, people being found dead on the street. And of course, in such a warm region where wintertime crops are essential, they really don't want to see one of their colder month lifebloods being destroyed. Let's go to the science and keep it easy to begin with the 2019 highlights from NASA's Earth Observatory. It was indeed a pretty cool year looking from above. Full video is linked for you below. Folks, we're coming back again to the trouble with the claimed giant black hole at LB1. I have been showing you the descent and debunkings from the mainstream to show you what it looks like from announcement to thrashing. And here you can read how a student got in on taking down what was the most impossible astrophysical announcement of the second half of the year. Looking back on the year, I want to reshare a few things that new viewers have likely missed. First, article on geomagnetic jerks. This set off investigations into how the geomagnetic jerks are one of the known causes of glitches in the length of a day, the other being solar storms, and how the great solar flash gives us the super version of both at the same time, and also a way to explain why the field was dropping and then recovering, dropping like in 2014 and 2015 and recovering afterwards. This does not show field strength, but geomagnetic jerks. This is why we say the field struggles and then has a huge hump recovery back up, why it's recovering now on an upswing again. The next geomagnetic jerk should be within 18 months. And I also wanted to remind everyone, scientists have no freaking clue how old things are on the planet. Back in the spring, they took the ice caps in Tibet from half a million years old to potentially being formed in the younger Dryas, 12 to 11,000 years ago. That is an insane change, and it teaches us about reality and the problems with the one they've told us about for a while. I also wanted to share this old book again, link to the online copy provided. It's no Adam and Eve story by Chan Thomas. It's no World in Peril by Major White. But we show and share those all the time. This one, not so much. It does manage to catch the 10 to 12,000 year disaster cycle. It discusses the tilting of the earth and the great continental sized waves that thrash the continents in the upheaval. They also touch on a key piece of evidence, the coal at the poles, which shouldn't be so abundant if the poles stay where they are all the time. Lastly, folks, the in print version of this paper is a month away, but early posting online comes a major review of solar forcing in various Earth indices. This is a study that they have initiated with various groups in various regions across the globe, and they keep showing the same thing. It's the sun that drives temperatures over the long term, largely due to ocean effects like the 30-year heat lag most climate scientists these days forget about, and also a recognition from their data that past warmings like the medieval and Roman warming periods were simply worse than now, and that the modern warming is actually quite unremarkable. By the way, every data set on Earth shows that for the last two planet warming events, except the one that comes out of the United States, which Tony Heller constantly proves they fake, fudge, and retroactively modify. Now I know that this one is really tough, especially for the newer viewers. It is irksome ethically. The climate story is probably the most complex scientifically, even more so than the cosmology. But it doesn't have to be, 
and you don't have to get stuck thinking that climate science and stopping pollution go hand in hand. While we favor the reduction of all pollution, there is a reason why Princeton, Harvard, Yale, NASA, the IPCC at the UN, and as of this month, the American Geophysical Union are talking the way that they are. They see the writing on the wall. True, the news isn't covering it, but that doesn't mean they're not saying it. They know this planet is heading for another glaciation, and they know it's the sun that's going to do it. Folks, there is the story you hear on TV, and then there is the one board of diligence, and it seems others are quietly following suit, as are we. Below this video, find a link to our climate forcing movie. It is the last piece of the puzzle regarding energy from space, so pick up your trash and also prepare your winter jacket. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Also, check out last night's part two if you missed it. Time is really not on our side. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.